Root words act as the foundation for most medical terms. They usually, but not always, describe the part of the body that is involved. Some root words indicate color. Taking root words, we can attach, again, suffixes or prefixes to make a new word. So, looking at our various body parts, the brain is defined as enceph. So, let's look at a few words. Encephalitis, well, that would mean inflammation of the brain. And if we were to refer to the spinal cord, it's mylo, M-Y-E-L, and there's a connective Oh, so we could get more precise than both of these by having meningitis, which would be inflammation of the meninges. And the meninges are a covering that covers both the brain and the spinal cord. As we mentioned before, rhino means nose. So again, like the animal where the horn is, it's on the nose. So if we add suffixes to rhino, we can have various different meanings, whether it be a pathological condition, whether it be inflammation of, or whether it be a surgical procedure, of whether that be the reconstruction, removal, or rebuilding of. Now, if we were to add rhea to rhino, we would have rhinorrhea. Now, just think for a minute, what word do you know that ends in Rhea. Hmm. Maybe diarrhea? And diarrhea would be the excessive running of fecal matter. So, rhea must mean the excessive running, right? Well, guess what? Rhinorrhea means the excessive running of the nose, whether that be congested up mucus or just thin, clear fluid. But if your nose just keeps running and you just keep blowing it, you have rhinorrhea. Now, some things to be careful of is the word for muscles is myo, M-Y-O. Whereas the term for the spinal cord is mylo, M-Y-E-L, with the connective letter O. So, again, we have to be careful because there's a lot of words in medical terminology that may sound similar or may be spelt slightly similar, but one letter could change the complete meaning of the word. Looking at our digestive organs, we have the stomach, which is signified by gastro. So you've probably heard of gastric, right, as in pertaining to the stomach, or gastric bypass, one of the many surgeries that can involve the stomach. And we have the liver, which is hepat or hepato. And we've heard of hepatitis. Hepatitis would be inflammation of the liver. And hepatitis can occur either virally or it can occur due to the use of drugs or alcohol or many other things that can cause an enlargement and inflammation of the liver. Root words can also indicate color. Cyan could mean blue. Erythro means red. Luke or luco meaning white. Melon or melano means black. And poli or polio means gray. Let's provide you an example of each. So cyano meaning blue. We have cyanosis is the blue discoloration of the skin caused by a lack of adequate oxygen in the blood. Cyan means blue, and osis means an abnormal condition or disease. For erythro, we have an erythrocyte. It's a mature red blood cell. Erythro means red, and cyte means cell. For leuco, which means white, we have a leukocyte, which is a white blood cell. Leuco means white, and cyte means cell. For melano, meaning black, we have melanosis, which is any condition of unusual deposits of black pigment in body tissues or organs. Melan 
means black, and osis means abnormal condition or disease. For polio, which means gray, we have poliomyelitis, which is a viral infection of the gray nerve tissue of the spinal cord. Polio means gray, myel means spinal cord, and itis means inflammation. A combining form includes a vowel, usually the letter O, added to the end of a word root. It is usually added to make the resulting medical term easier to pronounce. The rules for the use of a combining vowel are as follows. When two word roots are joined, a combining vowel is always added to the first word root. A combining vowel is used at the end of the second word root only if the suffix begins with a consonant. For example, the term gastroenteritis combines two word roots with a suffix. When gaster, which means stomach, is joined with the word root enter, which means small intestine, a vowel is used to make the combining form. So gastro, as you see the O on the end, is the combining vowel. The word root enter is joined to itis without a combining vowel because this suffix begins with a vowel. Gastroenteritis is an inflammation of the stomach and small intestine. Click on the logo that just appeared on the lower right corner of your video to subscribe to our channel and get more videos just like this.